Hello and welcome to the show. I am slightly rolling down a hill. There we go, fixed it. Um, today I've got a sort of a challenge. I'm going to try and drive this absolutely crazy machine. This is the Auto... can I remember the name? I hope so. Auto Union V16 Type-C Streamline. Streamline? Streamliner? I'm not sure. I'm going to be trying driving that around Nürburgring. Yes, one of the most daunting tracks in the world. In the pouring rain. Uh, oh god. <laughs> this is going to be terrifying. This is a car made in 1937, I believe. Uh, I'm being very, very cautious of this opening section. I've driven silly cars around the Nürburgring in the rain before. I think I drove a tank, uh, the tank car, the Jay Leno tank car, which is a... I don't, know, I don't even know. What would you describe that as? I don't know. It's a crazy, crazy contraption. And sure enough, that required a lot of concentration. I drove a racing muscle car around here at night in the wet as well. Um, I'm kind of terrified of this car. I like it. This is exactly my sort of car. I'm on full wet tyres. As you can see, I've actually remembered. I have double and triple checked for once. Um, I'm definitely driving on wet tyres. And Oh dear god, it would also be very wet inside this car. There is no <laughs> no roof uh, per se. Uh, it's just, everything about this car is absolutely ridiculous. I have no grip. I ha every time I breathe on the brakes, they lock up completely. Which is not particularly good. In a car that can do 223 miles an hour in this game, it runs out of gears in real life. Apparently it could do 248. I, nobody really knows, I don't think, what speed this car could do. It's stupidly, stupidly fast. The facts and figures on this thing are just ridiculous. Uh, also, I'm really kind of concentrating. Just keep the car. Oh, this doesn't help that there is no lights in this at all, which means I don't see very much, but I can just about deal with that. God, I've got to be so careful on these brakes. It's like, I ha often have problems. Oh, I got, no, we just run out of steering there. Come on, hatch it. I also be very, very careful if I go on the grass. Trying to get it back on the road again is not easy. Uh, I've had problems occasionally with the Grand Turismo, with the brakes just locking up. Uh, with the pedal being very, very sensitive. It's not the pedal being very sensitive. On here, you can keep track of the little doody da thing. Uh, I'm not putting very much pressure on and the brakes just lock up everywhere. Oh god, yeah, it's pretty terrifying. It picks up speed, stupid. Just stupidly fast. Uh, it catches you out how quick this thing will suddenly be going. Here we go. It's... <laughs> it really is an absolutely crazy car. I think this one... I'm not entirely... I had a brief look on the internet. There's not very much information on this car. Uh, so, yeah. If I'm wrong or if I don't know stuff, I apologise. I had a look. Uh, it was built for some competition in Germany they were doing. Um, where they were... Uh, just racing ridiculously fast vehicles around around the track. They were racing these with the F Formula One cars of the day. The Formula One cars, there's a, there was an auto union, I think it was Mercedes as well, that had streamliners, and they were racing these against Formula One cars. The Formula One cars were through the corners. These things flew past them on the straights, as you would imagine. Holy crap, we've had a big spin. We've had a big spin and I can't save it. <laughs> God, I, don't, I did not do that. Well, I, uh, I kind of did do that. It just had a an issue on its own. I'm trying to turn. I'm on full lock at the moment. This is full lock. I can't show you, but <laughs> can we please turn? You have no turning circle. My steering wheel is getting very angry at me. Nope. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this car has no steer. I would not want to have raced this vehicle. I really would. I kind of am at the moment. This thing would have been just ridiculous in real life. It has, I think it was 500, I've forgotten the horsepower now, it was 500 and something, it might be 516, 17, something like that. Horsepower from a V16 supercharged. Uh, it's got pretty much the statistics you would expect from a modern day supercar. It weighs a thousand kilos, which is pretty damn light actually. A very, very good power to weight ratio from a car made in 1937. This thing will most definitely scare almost all supercars when it comes to the acceleration, straight line and top speed. Very few cars can actually, can, modern supercars can beat this thing. With all of those, of course through the corners as you see, it is not very fast. It is really not very fast and I'm having to be so very, very cautious. Crap. <laughs> it just permanently wants to be sliding. Uh, it, 
it, yeah, it, ooh, no, that's not going to stop. That's not going to stop at all. I've got no brakes, and the minute I put power down, you suddenly are going forward very, very quickly if you aren't wheel spinning a lot. The brakes are the real <laughs> are the real problem on here. I wondered if sort of trying to put the power down might be a bit of a problem with this car. Uh, that's not too bad. It is a bit slidey. Uh, the grip through the corners is not excellent. Uh, as you saw, the steering lock is also not excellent. However, it's, it, I can sort of manage it with it. It's these brakes. These brakes are made of cheese. They do not stop it at all. Uh, oh, God. I don't, even, I, I don't know Nürburgring very well either. I should probably point that out now. Uh, but I, do, I do kind of know it a little bit. Uh, God damn, this car is tricky to drive. I do like this car, though. I really do like this car. It is very much my sort of car. I like slightly weird, slightly crazy cars. I like the Lotus Carlton because it's... It's just a, it's a silly thing. It's a silly idea almost. Let's make a Vauxhall Carlton that is quite possibly one of the most boring cars in the world into the most exciting four-door saloon possible. And they did. And I, and I love that. That's why I like the, the, the Lotus Carlton. I like the Clio V6 because it's the same sort of thing. It was, let's take a normal, a sort of a normal everyday hatchback. <laughs> Nearly had a crash. Uh, and turn it into a crazy thing. I know it's kind of a bit of a tribute to the Renault 5. Group B rallying, but it's still the same thing. It's a, it's a normal, sort of a normal hatchback made kind of crazy. And I like those cars. TVR Speed 12 is another car that I really like. Probably my favourite of the hypercars because it's just bonkers. And this thing is absolutely, absolutely bonkers in every single way. And I really do quite like it, even though it scares the crap out of me. We will go for, a, I say, a bit of a speed run. I will see how fast I can get it on the main straight here at Nurburgring. At this point in time, just keeping it on the road. It just stay on the road. And I'm kind of happy with it. God, <laughs> it really is hard to, to drive this car. Uh, it's actually, like for the cars on Gran Turismo, it's even not that much money. I think it's half a million credits. Is credits the currency on Gran Turismo? I don't actually know. That is a very good question that I've never paid attention to. It's, uh, yeah, it's half a million. Okay, that sounds like quite a lot, I would admit. But when you're looking at most of the race cars on here, uh, you're looking at half a million to sort of two million for some of them uh, it's not bad value for the level of uniqueness and silliness and yeah all of that that goes with this car carousel is not the the most fun section i've ever driven on I should also point out I, I forget to point this out at the start i should do this i'm driving on a steering wheel if you hear odd noises in the background like clicking of gears and the steering wheel generally shaking my desk apart that, that's why um, also if i sound a bit funny i have to have silly silly setup I should take a picture one day of the setup I have to use when I'm recording, when I'm talking. Um, uh, sorry, hold on. Wait, my, my brain is frazzled trying to drive this car. When I'm recording, when I'm driving with a steering wheel, because I can't have my mics on my desk like I would normally. Um, okay, we're actually... Do <laughs> Just turn into a corner at the back of the car decides, nope, we're not going to have that. Nope, no, we're definitely not going to have that. They got unhappy with me. Are we ever going to turn this around? Are we going to have to do like a five point turn? Oopsie, sorry steering wheel, please be quiet. We're going to have to go back. No, <laughs> what's the look behind button? Okay, whoops, come on, come on. Come on. No, now we're just kind of lengthways across the road. <laughs> I think, are we actually, we might be up against the wall. Are we up against the wall? Okay. In fact, we were in the wall, never mind. This is not a good car if you're trying to park somewhere. It'd be terrible in a car park. It would be terrible trying to do a blooming 3.10. Are we going to be clear? Yeah, that'll, that should do it. We should be good to get out of there. <laughs> this is the least manoeuvrable thing I've ever... It's less manoeuvrable than a truck. Probably less manoeuvrable than a ferry, to be honest. It's really not... <laughs> I've never seen a car with such poor steering. Like, I mean, okay, yeah, this thing is designed for speedruns, and I guess you don't want ultra-sensitive steering when you're trying to go very, very fast in a straight line. That would be a very bad thing. When you're trying to drive down around the Nürburgring, steering is kind of important. I'm actually lost. Whereabouts am I on the track? Do I? I don't recognise this bit. I, I yeah, I have no clue where I am. I, I, I've I said many times I'm not a huge fan of this track. I do do kind of know it because I've driven it a few times for challenges and stuff, and I have absolutely no bloody clue where I am. I'd normally recognise some of it. Actually, I think I may. I think I might know where I'm. Oh no, I don't know. There are jumps somewhere around here. Uh, is this the bit where there's a jump on Forza? Woohoo! No! Car! Straight line, please! Thank you. The only plus side, I guess, of having the less than sensitive steering, shall we say, is that if it does get sideways and things will start to go a bit squiffy, 
if you start moving the steering wheel around a bit too much, you're not going to kind of spin the car. Uh, you might not be able to save it quite, but you're not going to kind of overcorrect because the steering is kind of too slow and not particularly accurate, if that makes sense. Okay, we, I know where we are now. We're actually not very far from the finish line. <laughs> I should look down at the speedo, I realize I'm doing 120. Uh, in the pouring rain, in a scary thing, it's deceptively quick, this car. Ooh, and it's sliding, and it's causing scary moments. God damn, the crazy, crazy thing. Okay, we're going up to the straight, I'll see how fast we can get it. I'm hoping we can get it over to it. We might even be able to get it to its top speed. Uh, possibly. I don't know. I, I might be able to get it to its top speed, I don't think I'll be able to stop it. If we did get it to its top speed, because it's wet and the brakes, I can't even stop it at I mean, 100 miles an hour, let alone at 200. Right, coming around the final corner. Let's try and get a good run onto this long straight. Here we go. Let's see how fast we can get this thing down the straight. Let's look at this way it picks up speed. It's ridiculous for a car made in, 19, I think it's 1937. We're 170 miles an hour. I can't, uh, does it have the, the little bridge thing on here? I don't know. We're going to run out of gears. We're at 200 miles an hour now. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. 210. Come on, can we get the 220 before I get scared? Come on, get to 220. There we go. Oh, we're not going to stop that. Christ, it's like an earthquake. Ooh, come on, come on. We recovered it. We're fine. I got 220 out of it. I didn't have a heart attack at all. No, that's the... the <laughs> This is a crazy, crazy car, and I absolutely love it, and I really do recommend you have a go at driving this thing in as ridiculous conditions as possible on a silly track, because it's, it's just insane. Uh, it really is unbelievably fast, very, very hard to drive. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just a crazy thing, 11 minutes to get around the ring. Yes, you could go quicker than that in a van, but I'd have a hell of a lot more fun in this. I would probably also face backwards. And I was going to say die, but face backwards works as well. I mean, it's a little bit less, less harsh. Uh, that's not reverse. That, that was a Ford. Why didn't we go? Can we spin? Hey, there we go. Ah, oh dear. <laughs> this car is honestly the craziest thing I think I've ever driven. It really is excellent, excellent fun. It, I'm very glad this car exist, existed. I know, I think there is a there is a real version of this car. I saw a picture of a, they remade this vehicle for an Audi show or something. I'm not sure. Um, I think all of the real ones were broken or crashed or just, they're, they're gone as far as I'm aware. Uh, but yeah, I'm really glad that this car did exist because this is the sort of level of craziness that I like when it comes to vehicles. Yes, it's not, <laughs> not the most, certainly not the most practical. It is horrendously dangerous. But it is very, very good fun, and ignore the fact that the cockpit is terrible resolution. Yeah, it's, it's Gran Turismo. Um, however, yeah, that is it for this challenge. I got the I got the streamliner around the Nürburgring, and I hit 220 miles an hour. I'm pretty pleased. I got to 220, went sideways at ridiculous speeds through that corner, and it's still... I didn't hit a wall. I've spun it a couple of times, but it wasn't on that particular incident. And I have no idea what was going on with the jumpy jumpy jittery stuff that happened. I, I, I really don't know. Um, this is a really cool car. I, re I really, really do like this car. And maybe, maybe we'll do some more silly stuff with this car. Who knows? Unfortunately, you can't put dirt tires on it, otherwise it would have gone rallying, which would be very, very ridiculous. But come on, Gran Turismo, I want to be able to put dirt tires on silly cars. It'd be lots of fun, honest. Uh, anyway, that is it for this video, guys. So thank you very much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.